Why they don't dream team. It's your boy DL back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with five things we love about Australia from the Bam family land. Before we dive in, y'all know I need y'all to smash that subscribe button, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so I get suggested. Oh yeah! Hi guys, welcome back to the Bam family land. This week, we thought we'd tell you about five things that we love about Australia because as everybody already knows, we love where we live in Australia. Big time. Yeah. So anyway, we thought we'd tell you about them. Obviously, as you can see, we've brought you to somewhere really awful today with terrible views. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit um, cloudy today. There's one yeah. there. Uh, oh, there's two clouds today. <laughs> Is that really? Yeah, one over there. Come on, just let me know. I'll see the world in action while we can be live with no. Gotta turn this on down for the copyright. Oh, but let me. Uh, what's everybody's name? Take it back. I didn't get to see everybody's name. Oh, she's adorable. Oh, oh, oh. They got such a dope family. Oh, such a dope family. I absolutely love it, man. Somehow we can miss out. I absolutely love it. Have this feeling, feeling. Haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping. Number one is as we're here already the bright vivid colors so where we don't really get many cloudy days everything's always so bright and colorful so Man, for example if we do cool. get clouds on the odd occasion the seas are completely different color it's not this bright blue that you can see behind me but because we don't get that often pretty much every day we're surrounded by these beautiful blues and greens everything's just so much more saturated I guess yeah and um, even when we get our sunsets they're such a beautiful color you get pinks oranges yeah. purples and it's very vibrant it looks like someone's photoshopped the sky at night time yeah it looks like an artist's um, canvas yes yes <laughs> <laughs> number two those views are absolutely insane behind them they're absolutely gorgeous like it's crazy Wow. Wow. Is the word g'day. I love it every single time I hear it. <laughs> it brings me so much joy. You couldn't be anywhere else in the world and hear the word g'day for it to be completely normal. I think it's such a charming word. Oh, it's just a lovely word to say. Hi. Yeah. Really. Anyway, so we actually love the word g'day and there's plenty of people that still use it including myself now yeah. <laughs> obviously now that i'm a real aussie <laughs> so always remember to say good day as soon as you see good the van family yes <laughs> so number three good day i'm gonna start using that i'm gonna start using that good day how you doing good day how you going how you going good day how you going because how you doing is night skies the night skies here of amazing it's something like watching um, the discovery channel when they do their night things yeah um but just in your back garden is where we don't That's have incredible. light pollution it just makes the sky so beautiful it even the moon seems brighter at night here i think it's what it is it's pitch black with thousands and thousands of stars it's it's the most magical thing and we're so fortunate that we get that nearly every single night where it's so beautiful you, i mean you could go on holiday and you pay thousands for something like that when i take the dog out at night time um i find myself standing there for a good 10 15 minutes just staring at the stars um and just hunting for a satellite that might sound weird but <laughs> i've been told you can see it at night time on a good night um, and I'll keep looking for it. So if anyone can let me know how you find it or what it looks like, put it in the comments, just so it helps me out. Instead of standing there for the next 20 odd years looking for a satellite, I'm not even there. So give us a hand on that one. Number four. 
That sky just sounds absolutely beautiful. Pitch black night sky. So many stars. Oh, it just sounds absolutely gorgeous. Is the sound of the birds first thing in the morning. And you mm. can even hear them now. Um, so when I get woken up in the morning, it's by the kookaburras, yep. the lorikeets, the cockatoos. cockatoos, a massive array of different types of birds. And the and amazing it, thing is, they all visit our gardens. Yeah, because we've got a lot of natural um, native. plants. Native. Sorry. Because we've got a lot of native plants in our front garden to attract more of the birds and sort of help them feed and stuff like that. Um, they do come to ours quite a lot. And I just think it's lovely. It's waking up into like a tropical paradise, really. Yeah. But when you see all these programs of when they like the amazing holidays and stuff like that and you hear all the, the wildlife and stuff like that that's what we get every single morning i feel i mean what it is is we live in a holiday destination and and that's i mean that in itself tells you we live something really incredible every single day and yeah it's just stunning and the things we get to see on a daily basis are just incredible number five that's so awesome, right? Just the nature. Uh, to hear a bird, these all these different kinds of birds wake you up in the morning, right? Uh, it sounds like just like are are more are closer to nature out there in Australia, and of course they are. Uh, although I couldn't rock with the huntsman spiders, I couldn't rock with the poisonous snakes. I can't. I can't rock with no spiders actually. I I can't rock with them kind of. Even though they're not poisonous, I can't rock with it. But uh, every, uh the, the nature sounds absolutely beautiful. Five Live. It is, I cannot get over the bush turkeys roaming Ooh. around the streets. So, in, in where we're from, a turkey is usually on a farm that you definitely don't see, see them walking down the high street. Whereas wow. here, they are everywhere they just run around any street you sometimes see them crossing at pedestrian crossings which is hilarious um five years on from when we first moved i still find it hilarious i still love seeing them they and make me really laugh and when she films them she likes to make them dance as well yeah you i'll have to link that video i i had a little bit of a play where they did a bit of a dance on one of our intros <laughs> See, this number five is where we differ because Maz loves seeing the bush turkeys on the streets. I love it when I see the kangaroos yeah. sort of just mm. hopping down the street and you've got to slow down, sort of follow them. One night I had to get out and sort of usher it back into the bush so no one run it over because it was late at night with no street lights so I didn't want to get hurt. Yeah. So yeah, for me, just seeing kangaroos hopping around like in the wild, it's... Oh, really, really it's cool. really special. It, I always see them as well. I, mean, I haven't got my drone and want to send it out and see them. It's the same as I'll end up seeing a whale out there at some point. So I haven't got my drone and I'll miss seeing it. Same. Is as, it whale season? I don't know. I think it might have just passed. Don't know. But I, wanna, yeah. I really want to get some sharks and whales and stuff like that. Because I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Oh, that would be amazing. We Mid we gold. are desperate to get a shot out on the ocean of some dolphins. Yeah, all I get is surfers. They well, always do. We have seen dolphins. I didn't realise because dolphins go around together, whereas sharks go around on their own. And I saw a load of fins. I think I've said this in a previous video, but I saw a load of fins surrounding Lily once when she was out in the ocean. Ooh. But I was so scared. And it turned out it was they were in a group, so it was actually... I would have been scared too. Just the sight of fins would, would have scared me. Yeah, I wouldn't have. Th I would have thought worst possible thing. I would have thought shark as well. But yeah, uh, thank God it was uh, a, a group of dolphins. Cause yeah, that's probably the scariest thing. The dolphins. <laughs> yeah, much nicer than her being surrounded by a shark. Yes, sharks. Yeah, yeah or well, sharks. <laughs> Please uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next week we've got a super exciting video coming next week actually we're not going to tell you what it is but we've been asked for this a lot a lot a lot 
a lot. Like so, daily being asked. Yeah. So anyway, super exciting video coming next week as well. So don't forget to tune in next week, same time, every Sunday. We're there. The bell's on. See you next week. That's such a dope family, man. Uh, you can't help but to absolutely love the BAM family. Lamb. That's all we got, though. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop them in the comment section. Uh, I'd love to see these turkeys walking the street, as well as I would love to see kangaroos walking the street. Like Both of those would definitely just be cool. I guess they'd be hopping the street. I guess not really walking the street, but y'all know what I mean. Uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Shiwa Dinia, out.